Hi everyone and welcome back. I wanted to show a fun project I have been working on for the last week or so uh, using this recipe box that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, this I have got probably a little bit before Christmas and you guys have probably all seen this. It's kind of on the end cap I think of probably most Hobby Lobbies and it's the Petals and Blooms um, from the paper studio so it's like their house brand and petals and blooms is so pretty it's got just all these really pretty floral patterns and I think they have a paper pad and then they had scissors and different um, I think a pencil case and everything is kind of in this particular pattern and I passed by this recipe box and I was thinking um, you yeah, know do I really need it and then um, but I love using I love tin boxes and I love florals and so I picked it up and I thought I would definitely be able to figure out something to do with it so it kind of sat on my in my shelf for a while until I thought of something and I have a ton of cards that I had created for some of my design team work and my blog tutorials and that type of thing so I thought I would take all those cards and pull them all together and make sketches out of the cards for reference. So just basic card sketches. And um, so that's what I did. And I decided to keep all the sketches and some other card paper crafting reference materials in this recipe box. So I will show you what I have in here and kind of how I have it all set up. And so let me go ahead and open it. I just, I made a little sign in the front that says, um, just card reference and I used my label maker for that and then you open it up and it it's actually a very cute recipe box it came with these recipe cards um, which I'll set aside and probably use for something else but um, because I couldn't really think of anything to use in paper crafting for this but I don't know who knows maybe sometime I'll be able to think of something but it has you know recipe on the top of it with directions and ingredients and that type of thing so I'll probably just use it for regular recipes but I just wanted to show you what that looked like and then also in the box came these little dividers and I've since added my own um, labels to them but this is an original one um, it just had little titles like appetizers and desserts and main dishes and that type of thing and this one says this and that um, so I actually didn't need to use this one, so I'm just going to keep it just in case. But um, I relabeled everything so that I could use it for card making. So let me go ahead and show you what I have in each divider. Um, I have my first divider. I did design principles. And then I did my card sketches, vertical, horizontal, square, uh, tag sketches. So sketches that I would use for tags. And I'll go through these um, once I show you all the dividers. Um, and then card techniques. And then in the back, I have the cards that I used to make the sketches. And let me show you what I used. Um, these are 4 by 6 Project Life cards. And they're the grid pattern cards. And I really like this size. Um, I got these from Joann's, but you can get them from the Becky Higgins website and I think Amazon as well so I'll put links on my blog to all these products but I wanted something for my sketches that was on kind of a larger area but I didn't want to use like a big binder or something like that so I thought this would be good and this would work for me because I can pull it out of the box have the card sketch in front of me and then put it back um, I was thinking of maybe using a Rolodex style thing on my desk, but the Rolodexes kind of took up some room and they don't, the the size just didn't really work for me. I used to try, use a Rolodex for color combinations and um, I never ended up really going through it because it just, the it was too small and it just, it didn't work well for me. So I really like this size. So let me go ahead and show you kind of what I have in all the dividers. And this is what the cards look like. They come in a pack of 100. And so it's really nice. I got two packs um, just in case I needed more. So first of all, I did 
well, let me show you the card sketches I did first. So I basically just took all my cards that I've created for, you know, my, these are my original creations. I took them and I transferred them into a sketch form. So let me show you an example of what I mean by sketch in case you're not used to seeing a sketch. Um, so a sketch is basically just an outline of your card design with, you know, where the focal point is located and embellishments and that type of thing. So for instance, this card right here is a recent card that I had done um, on my blog and I transferred it into sketch form. And I just did, this is a vertical sketch and I just show, you can see I have the kind of where the ink blended circle is and then the little coffee cup where that could be and then the sentiment and the embellishments. So um, I did this with a ton of cards and I have a nice little library going on now. So these are my card sketches. So this is, I have vertical and then I have, um, let me see, it's horizontal. I have a lot more horizontal than I do vertical. So I just sketch them out um, using it. And then I'll show you what I used to sketch them. So I have these little shapes and the, I used a ruler for straight lines. And then I'll show you what I used for these little shapes. I found a really cute set of templates. Um, I think I got, this was on Amazon too. And these are really cute. They're little, they're a ruler, but then they have the little shapes on the templates, but the, the, they have a little shape template. And the shapes are just small enough that they fit um, for your card sketches. So they have stars and there's um, some hearts, little little um, ovals and circles and squares. So this is just a nice size to draw your card sketches with. And then for anything bigger that I needed, I've had these for years. These are from Fiskars and they're just big circle templates, squares, hearts. So I just use this too, just to kind of keep everything sort of neat and tidy. Um, and I just used, uh, I have a fine tipped Sharpie that I use to draw all my designs. So, so this took me, I don't know, maybe a couple of nights to, to get most of these. And I still have a few more that I need to do, but, um, I thought this could get me started for right now. And then, um, so in addition to the card sketches, I did some tag sketches as well. So just, I just drew the shape of a tag and, you know, kind of sketched some, these are some previous tags that I've done. So this is just some ideas that I have for, um, you know, a, a possible tags I could do in the future just by looking at a sketch. And then I also put down just all different card making techniques. Um, that I could think of ways to use, you know, heat embossing, uh, watercolors, um, different ways to stamp, um, anything I could think of that I've done in the past, I wrote down just to give myself some ideas um, as I start creating, just to kind of have a jumping off point. So um, I thought that would be really helpful. And then in the front of the little recipe box here, I have a little reminder of design principles and design principles have always helped me in the past in creating a really nicely put together card and if you've ever read about design principles in graphic design they all it all applies even to card making and I am NOT a graphic designer but I've taken a lot of the design rules and I've applied them to card making and it really has changed the way I make cards. So um, I just, as a reminder, I put in some of the different design principles that have been talked about, um, such as composition, balance, um, the rule of thirds, um, color, mood, um, just some reminders of, you know, what I want to include in cards and how to make a card look its best. And in doing this, I went back and referred to um, an old magazine. I had it. And I'm sure everyone has had, everyone remembers the Paper Crafts magazine. It used to be, I think it was Card Making and Paper Crafts. And I kept this one. This is the Card Design Handbook. And this was such a great reference. It has um, everything you need to know about um, 
design rules. So composition, uh, balance, color, that type of thing. And it had examples of different cards in it. And so I kind of went back and looked at it and it was kind of fun to to go back and, and remember how this, this was such a great magazine. So I kept this one and I have a couple others um, that I kept around too that I'll refer back to sometimes. But I, I wrote down a lot of the stuff that was in here and just transferred it to a card just as kind of a reminder, um, you know, how, you know, if, I, if I'm looking at my card and I can't quite figure out why it doesn't look right, I can refer back to my design principles and think, you know, and try to maybe fit some of those on the card. So, um, let me see. Oh, and uh, another thing that is helpful to just getting back to design principles. I have links to these books too. I think I've talked about them before, but um, I got these a while ago. Um, this is the non, non designers design book and white space is not your enemy. These are really helpful books um, for those of you that aren't familiar with graphic design. And I learned a lot. I'm just reading through these. They talk about, they mainly talk about putting together like a newsletter or something like that, but it would still apply to card making and just where you want to put your, um, your words versus your folk and your focal point and that type of thing. So, um, it's got some great tips in here. So, um, I would highly recommend these books too. And I'll have links to these on my blog as well. So, and then one more thing I put in here that kind of is from the, uh, design little uh, design principles is this little overlay and one of the design principles is composition and it talks about the rule of thirds or dividing your card into nine equal parts and basically anything that falls within these intersection points is called like a sweet spot so if you have something there that just makes your card kind of come alive and just makes the design um look really nice and I'll show you an example on this particular card um, if you lay this over the top of it you can see that the focal point crosses directly through this intersection right here and this is one of my favorite cards I think it um, it has a really good feel to it and I think the reason is because it follows this kind of design principle right here. So all I did was, I think I took a, I don't know what this is. I think it's a piece of clear cardstock and I drew just equal lines and divided it into nine parts with a Sharpie. And this has come in handy before, you know, again, if you're trying to figure out um, where you want to place something on your card, just put it over your blank card and kind of try different things with it and um, see how you like it. So, so I'm keeping this in here too, as another little reference. And that's it. I just, I'm going to just keep this on a shelf and I can pull it out when I need it and put it away. And um, I think I'll, I'll be using it because I really like, um, again, like I said, I like the size of the card and um, it's easy to see. And I need that too. So, um, so I just, I, I think this is going to be a good little reference. Again, like I said before, I will have everything all the products I used linked over on my blog. And I know that I, I think Hobby Lobby does still uh, sell this particular recipe box if you're interested in purchasing it. Um, I think right now they're actually having a sale on Paper Studio items. I thought that's what I saw on the website. So you can go and check that out. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this project share. And you can head over to my blog for links to all my products I use today. And I will also put a couple of free card sketches on my blog as well for you to use um, for your, um, you know, for a jumping off point for your own cards. Um, they're always fun to have. And um, like I said, I really enjoy a card sketch. And they're especially good for people who um, are more product driven in their card making. I know that's, that's how I am. I, I love products. So I'll, I'll have a stamp set and I'll look at it and I'll try to think, okay, how do I want to use this on a card? And it's, it's a lot more helpful to have a sketch where you kind of know where you want to place different elements. Um, and then all you do is kind of fit your supply or your stamp set into, um, that design on the card sketch and sketches are good too, because you don't have to necessarily use them, 
um, the way they were intended. For example, you know, a sketch like this, you could take and, you know, you look at it like this, how it was originally drawn, but you could turn it on its side and turn it into something else. And um, so there's a lot of different ways you can use it. So one sketch could lead to 10 cards. Um, so that's nice too. So be sure to just subscribe to my channel for all the latest updates. And I thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.